what's going on here, right, is this is the mass spec, okay? Um, and so it's a key top, so it's a high res, but then you can have a quad to focus your mass range. So you can look at uh, proteins with one quad range method, you can look at peptides with another method, and metabolites with another one. So basically, and then DNA and RNA, we have another one. So it's really like four different tune files that set you up for how the mass spec works. Uh, what's going on here is this is your sample manager. So the load samples, we'd open the sample manager door. Um, the first big lesson is when loading samples into the sample manager door, you want to make sure that you use this button to switch between plate one and plate two. Okay? So right now we're uh, this is plate one and that's plate two back here. So if we need to switch that would just hit the button, we'll go to plate two, we'll go back to plate one this way. Okay? I prefer people not to pull all the plates out like this, put them back in. Just kind of reach in there and put your uh, sample position. This auto sampler is set up A through F, one through eight. So your position here would be plate one, A, one. Forget the way it's set up because we have different instruments. You can just kind of follow along with everybody else is doing there while well, it tells you kind of what's going on. And so uh, the other thing you know is when you open the sample manager door, if it opens front back like this, then you're, you can load samples. But if the instrument is working and people are running samples and it's somehow you catch it right when it's using the needle, it'll open up at a 45 degree angle. And I'll try to open it up on purpose so you guys can see. But if you don't see it front and back, realize the needle is probably doing something, just close the door, wait 30 seconds, and it will be done. Okay? So this down here is the quadrate solvent manager. So on this system, we have the ability to blend all four solvents. So the solvents we have on the system are 0.1% formic acid in water, which is very standard, which you'll probably be using, and you'll probably be using. Uh, we have acetonitrile, nitrile, which is our organic. Uh, and then we also have neutral ammonium acetate for oligos, so at pH 7-ish. And then we have uh, basic ammonium formate, which actually works well for basic peptides. If people are doing basic peptides or weird peptides typically. Um, so we have uh, pH 9 ammonium formate on here as well. So you can see you have a bunch of different ranges of uh, pHs. So this is controlling the solvent. It's pumping here. The sample, the reason you don't want to ever like overload sample or have any particular, it's just a flow through needle sample. So it's always flowing through the needle and it pulls the sample through. So it's pulling the solvent, flowing through the needle. So there's no loop. The needle is the loop, okay? And then it's coming up here and then we have a column manager. So that's kind of a nice gift that we have here. So I think there's six or seven different column types already in there that you can easily Choose and select what else you got to use the software. Method's already established on the column type, so if you want to run a C18 column, you can just do a C18 column method, a C4 column. For proteins, you're running on a phenyl desalting guard. There's also other, there's SEC columns on there. There's uh, Oros columns for running larger proteins. There's lots of different columns out there that you can try. And then there's uh, phenyl columns and PFPs for really polar metabolites. Like that. So a bunch of different uh, metabolites. So just realize that this is a column manager that's, all, that's switching the column for you. So you always want to run all of one method, one column type, and then run the next column type. Because it does switch back and forth, and so you don't want to go back and forth a bunch of times. And then just make sure you always blank the column before you use it. So just realize that if you're going to a new column that hasn't been blanked yet, so run a blank on every column type before you use it. And then once it comes off of the column, it goes through here. This is a true divert valve right here that's on the instrument. So for the protein method, it diverts the first two minutes of the five minute analysis to waste. That allows you to put on eight molar urea if you want to. Or like conjugation chemistry salts for people doing weird stuff. So you don't have to worry about salt on this instrument. The whole reason we're running a desalting column for protein is like you can bring in a protein right out of a midazole, dilute it to the right concentration, run it right off of your nickel column, right? So you can check it before you do anything to it. And that, this diver allows you to get salts to waste. Same thing for you guys doing metabolites. If you have lots of salts, don't worry about desalting it offline. You can do it all online and not have to worry about losing things on like a desalting filter or guard. You can just use this instrument. And then uh, we're further down splitting the flow. So it's coming into here and then it's down splitting the flow to a waste bottle right here. And only a portion of it goes into the mass spec to help keep things a little bit cleaner. Okay? And that's kind of how the system works. And then I'll go through the software now. Yeah.